So the Cowboys rookies practice first look at this. And then, of course, none of the guys got stars on the side of the helmet. They're going to have to earn it. And you see Schoonmaker right here. One of the guys that the Cowboys look to add to this team from the tight end room. He will be a pretty much blocking tight end, and he will be your wide tight end. Uh, middle of the field, some edge looks as well. Nevertheless, he got to fight for that spot, and we can't wait to see him out there on the field. So shout out to Schoonmaker. And this is Jalen Brooks. He will be rocking the 83. Now, Jalen Brooks was uh, one of those guys, when you think about it and you, you look at his tape or what have you, he's, he's not going to jump out on film. We hope that he can find some type of way to prove that, hey, he's worthy of this team. He's the absolute underdog. One can argue that the undrafted guys may be more favorable. Nevertheless, we've seen crazier things happen in the National Football League. So shout out to Jalen Brooks. It's a lot of Jalen's on his team. Hopefully he can prove that he's eligible to make this team in the right way. And this right here is my guy, DeMarvion Overshone. DeMarvion Overshone is that guy that's a linebacker slash safety, but he will be in that linebacker role. And I can't wait to see how Dan Quinn utilized his skill set. He got pass rush moves as well as some safety traits. He got DB play to his game. So I can't wait. He's one of my draft favorites right here. And I can't wait to see him in the silver and blue with the star on the side of the helmet. All right. So what we have here is Mozzie Smith, the Dallas Cowboys first round pick. He's the big plug down inside. He's the guy that throw around 225 like it's nothing right we've seen him play around with 800 pounds so hopefully he will be that enforcer up front and we will be that one tech slash three tech guy and i can't wait to see how he's gonna help this team out collectively number 58 look him up if you have not already mozzie smith that's him he gotta earn that star on the side of the helmet and right here we have our guy deuce vaughn He'll be rocking 42. And, of course, he's been working out all offseason with Parsons and beyond. Hopefully, Deuce Vaughn can showcase to the world that he can bring a lot to the table. Yes, he's five foot five and a half, maybe five foot six, give or take. And he should be that spell back that got to come in and to help out. Hopefully, the Cowboys will have a philosophy of, hey, we're going to go with the three-headed situation. Normally, teams looking at running back schemes – the newer teams that's doing that, they seem to be profitable with that. So hopefully he'll fit right into a role. According to uh, John Fossil, Bones Fossil, he will be giving us some special teams play. So look out for number 42 this offseason. See if he can earn that star on the side of his helmet. So we have 91 Wheat. We have Fihoko. That's Junior Fihoko, the defensive tackle slash edge guy and schoonmaker and Overshawn. I can't wait to see those boys. They're picking up all what they can from the coaching staff. And Wheat will be another guy to pay close attention to. Hopefully, he can earn a spot on his team. All right, next we have, this is Junior Fihoko. And if you glance real quickly, you would think that you see Semi Fihoko. From what my knowledge is, they, they are like cousins way down the line, like second cousin twice removed. Nevertheless, Fihoko, he said that he may have to gain 5 to 10 pounds, and hopefully he can fit right in as a defensive tackle. But for right now, he'll be your edge guy. He got powerful hands. Can't wait to see him in the silver and blue all the way. And he's cheating a little bit. He got a star, star on the uh, headband right there. Thought you had to earn that star. But we're going to let him slide with that. We're going to let him slide with that, though. Fihoko. And, of course, to close out again, this is Deuce Vaughn. As you guys can see, man, this dude, we got high hopes for him. Hopefully, he can earn his spot on his team rightfully. And nothing should be given to him right. And just be mindful. His numbers and his productivity from college is right up there with Jameer Gibbs and B. John Robinson. I'm not saying that he is. But it's right up there with those boys. And, and and the great thing about being a guy that's drafted in the later rounds means that the Cowboys may not even try to lean on or depend on him. So anything that he would do or present would be an element of surprise. And I can't wait to see it, Cowboy Nation. That's been my time. 
I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys.